Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to adjust the default camera pilot position in pretty much any aircraft in Microsoft Flight Sim. Coming up in this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So for today's demonstration, we're going to be using the brand new Honda Jet that was just released for Microsoft Flight Simulator a short while ago. You'll notice here that the default camera pilot angle is skewed way down almost at the controls and at the screens. Now this may be okay if you're flying on monitor, but when you jump in the VR, you really have to now strain yourself to look out the front window. A lot of people may not like this, and there's probably many other scenarios that you would want to change the default pilot view. So let's get into today's video, and if it helps you out, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have any comments along the way, post those down below as well. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on with today's tutorial. So if you are in Microsoft Flight Simulator at this time, you will need to close out of the simulator. You cannot make any of these changes with the sim actually running. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is open up the file explorer down here below. Once that's open, you're going to navigate to the address here that I have open in mine, but you're going to supplement my name here for your name. If you are somebody who has the community folder on your desktop, you can open your community folder and then backtrack a little bit to the packages, and then you can open up the official and then the one store from there. So now that we have this open, we just need to find the aircraft in question that we want to make some changes to. So for us, we want to change the Honda Jet. So instead of me going down here and searching through all of this, I know it is labeled as HJet. So I'm just going to come up here to search terms and type in HJet. Okay, so the first package that it has shown here is the HJet folder. So I'm just going to double click on that. Once you open the correct folder for the aircraft, you will then want to go to the Sim Objects folder, Airplanes, HJet. Then we're just going to scroll down until we find the Cameras Configuration file. Once we're there, we can left click to highlight and then right click to choose how we want to open this. I'm going to open this with Notepad++. Okay, so once this file has opened, all we want to do is scroll down in the list here and you'll notice here that we're going to be looking under the Pilot so this is gonna be the default pilot camera position. And we're gonna go all the way down here to where it says initial PBH. Here's where we can adjust the initial pitch of the camera angle. So the default camera angle in the H-Jet is already set up for negative 15 degrees pitch. So what I'm going to do is just take off the one and we're going to leave it as a negative five degree pitch. Now with these figures, you will have to play around and test what is going to work best for you. But what you want to make sure that you do is you have the correct amount of digits to the right of the decimal point. So if you just want to go down five degrees, you want to make sure that you put the appropriate number of zeros here to the right of the decimal. If not, it may screw up some things for you. So once you have that set correctly, we're just gonna go back up to the file, go down to save, and that will lock in all of the changes. We can now exit that. Now all we need to do is load up Microsoft Flight Simulator and take a look at the new camera position. Welcome back everyone. And now you can see the camera position is much, much better. We can still see the screens down below. We can see straight out of the windshield now, and we are nice and level with the sides here. So in this aircraft, yeah, I think uh, negative five degrees works very well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comments section, and I will get right back to you. Thanks everybody for joining us here on the channel. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.